have a secret to share with you guys. I have to be completely organized, otherwise I will accomplish absolutely nothing. Are you guys just like me? Stop, please. Just kidding. What I really mean is, if you're watching this, which clearly you are, then chances are you are just like me. I want to create the next big, massive impact video that impacts so many people's lives. But if I don't make a plan around it, it's not going to happen. I spend a lot of time switching between my computer and my phone, and there seems to be a million apps out there. I have tried a lot of apps to get things done, and in this video I'm going to cover what makes me super productive. Hey what's up guys, my name's Ray, this is Lit with Ray, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing because I make videos on creativity and technology. So, you know, go ahead and do that. Now, let's get started. In this video and really this series, I'm going to be focused on my productivity workflow. However, I'm only going to be focusing on just one app. Well, that's two. This is one, Trello, because this thing has completely changed my world. It has made my life so much easier. In the past, I've used Google Sheets and Google Docs, still using Google Docs. I've used Evernote, I've used Google Keep. Trello is my favorite. So jumping in real quick, originally, this is what I started with, which was Google Docs. So you see that I have my video name, the parts to the video, the status of the video, whether I'm planning, scripting, or published it. Did I schedule the video? What type of video is it? Are there any guests, location, and notes? Keywords. This was working for a while, but the problem was that it's super basic, and I had to use a lot of different apps at the same time, which just got confusing. I mean, nobody wants a million different tools to use, so I reached out to a lot of different people, and I'm like, hey, what do you guys use to keep yourself organized? People are like, Trello, Asana, they suggested some of the others. I even did a Google search. When I looked up project management sites, there were too many sites, there were too confusing, there were too many apps, not for YouTube. Google was super confusing because there's like 50 different apps for 50 different things, and I only needed one. I needed one that made sense. I don't want 50 different tools. I want one. When I was getting started at changing up my workflow, somebody suggested that I watch Vanessa Lau's video, which I'll leave in the description below. I used some of her ideas to adapt Trello to my needs. I tried Asana, I really did, and I did not like it. There were some features that were missing and it didn't integrate with Google Calendar. So going into Trello, I've created three different boards. I created one for my website, which just has different elements that I wanna cover for it. Another board that I created was for my YouTube videos. And then I have another one for my video ideas list, which is really just a pile of different ideas that I have that are on the back burner right now. now Video ideas is the column where I just, by default, I throw everything. And then once I figure out where I'm going to assign it, that's where I go with it. So I have a column for reviews, interviews, how to's, cameras, and extras. My extras column is where I keep my video template. The thing that I hated about Asana is that I had to have several different things and extras and the video, there was no template. So if we go into video template, you're gonna notice how everything is organized. So you can actually see down here on the right, I created a template from this card. So up top, you have your title, you have the description, which I use for my for my shot notes, as well as what I wanna cover, my description and all that. I created different checklists. In fact, let's just go through this real quick and I'm gonna create a new idea. So first things first, you're gonna go over to the left side, click on create template, and I'm gonna click on here. I'm just gonna name this my idea. Okay, now we're gonna click on create card. When we click on that, you're gonna see different descriptions and going into the first part, I have my notes here. You can click the formatting help if you want to, and this is gonna show you how I set everything up and then it's gonna come out looking like this. Now the thing about Asana is that it was limited on tasks and subtasks. I mean, you could only have one list of subtasks. You couldn't really organize it. What I absolutely love about Trello is you can have multiple checklist lists. Lists? You can have multiple lists of checkboxes. We'll just go with that. So I created four different categories. I created one for preparation. So in this, this is where I have research, title, description, keywords, and script or outline. I prefer to outline lately. Sometimes I will script an entire video out. It's just easier this way, but I'll actually check them all off as I'm going through it. Then you have the filming checklist, which is my checklist where I go through absolutely everything to make sure that my video, once I press record, is on point. 
So I'm checking my batteries, my focus, my aperture, my resolution and frame rate, my camera shutter speed, the ISO, the lighting, make sure my microphone is plugged in. Environment is where I check my environment and make sure that it's not a mess, that I don't have a million different things laying around and just makes it super distracting. I want to keep it simple so that way you guys can stay focused. Image, this includes clothes and hair, so is my hair on point? I've recorded entire videos where I have a thread on my shirt and I've had to go and edit it and it takes forever to edit the video. And in fact, if you go back a few videos, you're going to see in my video, I'm wearing this shirt and I have like a white thread. I actually ended up blurring it out a little bit so that way it's not noticeable, but it was super distracting for me. That's all I could focus on while I was editing. Then of course, I wanna make sure that I have a thumbnail, that I record B-roll and that I have energy and smile. The biggest problem that I have is that sometimes I'll record an entire video and I won't have the energy or I have noticed that I did not smile the entire time, especially because I'm recording these at like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning and at that point, I'm about a coffee and a half in and I'm waiting for it to kick in, of course. So then I have all this energy. Like right now, I have a super bunch of energy. Next on my list, of course, we have post-production. So this is going to be editing, creating a 30 second teaser, uploading the video, scheduling the video, making sure I have my info cards and my end screen. This is another thing that I took from Vanessa Lau is that I actually comment on every single one of my videos. I'll ask my quick question at the end. I'm going to pin it up there. I'm going to like it and I'm going to heart it. Now, once my video is uploaded and scheduled, next it's time to promote it. So I'm going to pre-promote on Facebook and Instagram if I'm being a good boy. I'm going to promote a teaser on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I need to make sure that I do this. I just, I just got to do it. No excuses. Get it done. I'm going to share it on Instagram, Twitter, and schedule it on Facebook. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to schedule it on the other platforms. I know Instagram doesn't like third party apps anymore, which kind of backs me into a corner. I'm going to engage with my followers on every single video, and I'm going to do this for several days, if not weeks. Thing is, my videos are going to be up there for years, so I do my best to respond to every single comment that I get. It's important. Make sure you're doing this. And what you can also do is comment on this, leave yourself little notes. Cool. So now that we have the idea pretty much planned out, now what we're going to do is move it into my other board. Click on this little pencil button, click on move card. We're going to click in the list and then click on YouTube videos and click move. There, it's gone. Now, if I switch boards, and this is something that's kind of annoying with Trello versus Asana. I liked how you could link it between two different boards, but it is what it is and it's fine. This helps me anyways, I'm staying organized. That's what's important. So go into YouTube videos. So here you can see, here's my idea. So if you guys are getting value out of this, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Oh, and also go ahead and leave your latest emoji down in the comments. I wanna see what it is. Now let's go. We're continuing and I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop. Going back into this real quick, I wanna cover the right side. So here you have your members, you can add members. I'm a one person team right now and that's fine. When I start to build up my team, then, you know, they'll be added too. So we can all keep track together. Labels, this thing is really cool. So what I actually did is I created a couple of different labels that I can use to assign to my videos just to keep them nice and color coded. So you'll see over here, I have green and blue on this one and I have just green on this one. So. I created one for series, one for review, template I haven't been using, but I just created it because QTT, which is Quick Tip Tuesday, is something that I'm working on. It's in the works, so it's not anything that I've done yet. And then I have interviews. But now getting out of that, this is where I create my checklists. You can create a due date for it, which I typically do do. You can create attachments, which is usually where I end up attaching from my Google Drive. I'll attach the script. I actually script everything in Google Drive just because it makes it a little bit easier. And then it appears as a link. I'm actually gonna show you guys that in a little bit. Closing out of this, you can also create a cover photo. So actually, if you look over here on my done pile, I have my thumbnails uploaded. Going through each of the different columns though, you have research and script, you have preparing. So I research and script every single one of my videos. And by script, it could just be an outline. I also have preparation. So this is where I'm preparing each of my videos. Do I need to get props? Do I need to set up my scene? Do I need to do anything like that? That's what this column's for. Filming. Clearly, it's self-explanatory. Uh, actually, this is the video that I'm working on filming right now. So that's why it's in this list here. Then once I'm done recording, I'm going to move it over to editing. 
and then scheduled and then done. Scheduled is once I've scheduled my video. So I'm waiting for launch time. Once it launches and it's in done, I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to make sure that I accomplish everything else that's on my task list. And this is the time where I'm really engaging with my followers. So if I go over to this video here, my Cine style video that I did, you're going to notice that I have three different things that I attach to this video. So I attached the thumbnail, I actually just created that as a cover, just adds it as an attachment. I have a video link, so a link to the video. So I can just click it and reference it easily. And then I have the script to it, which again is linked from Google Drive. And then I go through my entire checklist. I'm really bad with this, but I do forget to create 30 second teasers and pre-promoting and promoting teasers and all of that. So it's something that I'm definitely working on getting better at. Just to kind of explore the stickers a little bit, I have the star, which is for my stellar super performing videos. These are the ones that blow the other ones out of the water. That way I can kind of keep track and be like, okay, so this was working. Awesome. Then I have a sticker for ones that didn't really perform so well. And my last video, which was on 4K and 1080p, I put my uh, my WTF sticker, like what the hell is going on here? Um, that's what that is. Okay. And it's like, all right, well, don't do that again. <laughs> so obviously my list isn't super populated yet. I just kind of started this a couple of weeks ago and it's something that I've been working with. Obviously it's going to get more full over time and that's perfectly cool. Over the last month, month and a half, you've noticed I've come out with a new video every single week. Before that, for like a year and a half, I came out with 10 videos. And the improvements that I've noticed just by implementing the system have been absolutely huge. Organization is key. People are really bad at multitasking. I know because I'm definitely one of them. So if you can create a workflow that you can go through and checklists, I'm all about lists. I really am. You're going to notice huge improvements. My system is something that's constantly evolving, growing and adapting. All of those words mean the same exact thing. And I think I pretty much have everything figured out for the most part. Obviously, things are always changing. I'm finding better ways to accomplish tasks, but this is what is working right now. So my final thoughts on it is Trello is an amazing app. I'm constantly using it on my phone and my computer, and it has kept me super organized. For productivity, it's definitely something to consider if you guys are not currently using it. And the reason is because it's just so smooth. It's buttery smooth. It's got that nice feeling. Just think very white. Okay, maybe not that far. Don't do that. Don't. It's a tool and tools can be distractions. So you don't want to spend too much time on those distractions once you get things set up. You just want to crank things out, get things going, and that's what's going to count the most. Just do what you need to do so that way you can focus on something else. More time you spend on one thing is less time you can spend on another. So less is more. So quick question for you guys. Is this useful to you? Is this something that you're already using? Is this something that you're considering? I want to know about it down in the comments below, as usual. If you got value out of this, I want you to smash that like button, of course, because it definitely helps with the algorithm. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already. There's also a little bell down there. Ring that too, so that way you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. Keep an eye out for the next video in this series. I'm going to leave the playlist right here. And right here is a video that YouTube thinks that you should watch. So, you know, go ahead and watch it. And until next time, I'm going to catch you guys later.